Mr. President, I have the distinct honor to introduce the pre-recorded statement by the Right Honorable Mr. K.P. Sarma Oli, Prime Minister of Nepal. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, distinguished delegates, it is a privilege to be part of this historic occasion marking the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. We are convening at an unprecedented time. The impacts of COVID-19 have hit across lives, economies, and societies with toughest burn felt by the weakest and most vulnerable countries. Today is an occasion to reaffirm our commitment to peace, prosperity, and justice. We, as humanity, have a responsibility to strengthen the UN and empower it as the center of multilateralism to deal with the complex challenges the world is confronting. Nepal's partnership with the United Nations has been ever-growing in all three pillars. We have been providing one of the most dedicated and professional services to the UN peace operations for over six decades. The UN has been a key partner in our development process. We continue to contribute to the protection and promotion of women rights constructively. We believe that all women rights are equal and must be treated in their totality. Mr. President, the United Nations is at generational crossroads of continuity and transformation. It faces a test of delivering on the ever-increasing expectations to protect the neediest countries and peoples, to promote the sovereign equality and dignity of all, to fight against the threats like pandemics, climate crisis and terrorism, and to ensure total elimination of nuclear, chemical, biological, radiological and all other weapons of mass destruction. Building on the achievements, it is also our collective responsibility to make the world body more fit for purpose. Now is the time to do so. First, there is no alternative to unity, solidarity and cooperation. We must reaffirm these values and commit ourselves to move beyond rhetoric to action. Second, it is important that the UN is focused on the 12 action points highlighted in the declaration we adopted today and mobilized support for the entirety of the SDGs so that no one is left behind. Third, with timely reforms, we must enable the UN to build a just, fair and rules-based international order where no nation is superior than others. Finally, we need to strengthen the UN and ensure that it is stronger and better prepared to tackle the existential threats and emergencies. To conclude, Mr. President, let us solemnly commit ourselves at this historic 75th anniversary to build a more prosperous and happy global community in an atmosphere of comprehensive democracy. Let us make the UN fit for this purpose. Thank you.